Well, good afternoon and welcome to Working Horses with Jim, where we share how we work with draft horses and use them to do farming and logging. Today, Jim is cutting hay with Ken and Bill. This is the first field of the year. And it's so nice, we're getting a good early start on hay because we have a nice stretch of weather coming up and it's not even June yet. So we'll show you a little bit of what's going on with haying today. So here we are late afternoon, Ted and Hay with Bill. I decided to use him on the single horse cart. This is a Saturday night and we don't hay on Sundays. And then on Monday, we have to go pick up Abby at the airport. So most of Monday's shot. So I decided to get this hay tedded so that it would be all ready to bail by either late Monday night or Tuesday.
So here we are about 6 o'clock on Monday night. We got home from Montreal from picking Abby up at the airport. And I was going to attempt to rake my hay that I cut on Saturday, but I decided I'd be farther ahead to cut a little bit more because the weather still looks good. So that's what I'm doing. I'm out here mowing tonight. And I mowed uh, about half of the field that I want, piece that I wanted to put down. And then I broke the pitman on my mow machine. So I'll have to get that fixed and I'll finish this up tomorrow. But uh, we did get a little bit more hay down. And uh, now, tomorrow, we can also rake up and bale the piece that I cut on Saturday. Here we have Lady and her foal heading out for some more grass and later in the video we will tell you who or the name that we have decided for this little filly. So here we are with Baron and Ken raking up our first cutting hay of 2023. It's still May and we're going to be baling up hay before the 1st of June. So that's pretty good. It's not a really heavy crop being this early so we're double windrowing it and because the hay is kind of short it did not rake quite as good as I would have liked but it's, it's still okay.
I was just telling Jim that it's unusual be to see all these dandelions in here that have gone to seed because we are starting haying so much earlier than we usually do because we have this beautiful stretch of weather. And usually it's a little later and the dandelions have already gone by. So here we are with Lady and Philly, uh, the Philly out in the barnyard. Lady is very protective of her little one. And we thought it might be a good time to share with you our thoughts on what to name her. Thank you so much everyone who gave so many suggestions and thoughts and comments on what we should name Lady and there were a lot of good ideas and thoughts. We finally decided to do what one person suggested to Jim and ask our grandchildren to decide on the name. So that's what we did. And they decided to name her Bree. And of course I love that because that was what I was hoping for. And then our little a four year old grandson Isaac wanted to name her Joy. So we're calling her Bree Joy. And um, somebody suggested in the comments um, that to name her Joy, um, there was more than one Joy comment, but they said um, from Psalm, I believe it was 30, it says Joy comes in the morning and Joy did come in the morning. So she is Bree Joy and then... One more uh, comment on that is Brenda's middle name is Joy also. Yeah, so that was, that's nice. Um, and then um, we had a lot of <clears throat> comments on going along with the same line. We have Lady and Baron and Duke and are also along the lines of royalty. A lot of royalty names. So Jim suggested that we, and somebody had said that the correct uh, title for her would be Princess. So Jim suggested that we give her the first title of Princess. So her name is Princess Bree Joy. Let me tell you one thing about Brenda. <laughs> so now, as of right now, we have three names for this little filly. Princess Bree Joy. Within two weeks, Brenda will start calling her something else. Just wait and see.